Hi Virgo, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Ooh, let's see what the universe has for you Virgo. Okay, okay, okay. All right, this is just not working out. What direction are these cards coming out in? Oh my goodness, arguments at home. Oh, hey, Page of Cups and the King of Cups. Looks like you have new love coming in. Um, the High Priest, High Priestess with the... <laughs> okay. Uh, you could be struggling with finding new love and the love that you want. Oh, some of you are going back and looking at your standards your prayers, your wishes, your, you know, uh, universal requests for the perfect love, somebody to make you happy. Uh, that five of wands is struggle, strife, and stress, baby. Okay. And the knight of wands is inconsistent. I feel like, yeah, some of you could be going into deep ritual by ritual. I mean, manifestation, meditation, prayer, whatever your spiritual and or religious practice is, um, with the hanged man here, I kind of feel like maybe you've been slacking, right? Um, and and because of that, you keep meeting non-committal game players, immature um, people. And I feel like with that five of wands, you, you sick and tired. You is sick and tired, Virgo. Um, but I do kind of feel like there is a certain level of surrendering that you have to do. And that surrendering just basically means that you kind of give up control, give it to God in the universe to be like, all right, God, uh, all right, you, you got it. You can have it. I'm sick of, you know, flipping this pancake 32 times and it's still not done. Right? Yeah. So this is almost like you're getting frustrated and, um, turning it over to God or, or your higher power to bring in this new love. Now let's talk about this Knight of Wands. Are you rushing? Are you being impatient? Um, have you bypassed any healing that you have to, 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 to pay to, to do in order to stop attracting these temporary game playing immature people? Right? Because you only attract what you are. You only attract, you know, what's sitting on your heart and what's sitting on your heart. I'm not saying a game playing, <clears throat> immature, non-committal person or energy is sitting on your heart. I'm saying a game playing, immature, non-committal person probably broke your heart and that pain is still sitting on your heart. And it's weird. Yeah, you saw that Eight of Pentacles fall out. I feel like it's time for some of you to get down to business and clear away, clear yourself out of this mental blockage. Not only are you meeting the game playing this one and that one and the other one, but they also broke and poor, <laughs> right? It's almost like they're coming in and they don't even have what you're looking for in the first place. Well, angels are saying, why would you entertain that? Just a question. Yeah, look, you, uh, six of pentacles. Mm. You could be coming up short because you are entertaining them, right? Either you're entertaining them or you don't, or you've not gotten great at identifying them and then leaving them alone, right? I feel like Virgo, you're that beautiful sign who will give anybody a shot, but you shouldn't. Okay. That's the biggest thing here is that you absolutely should not give everybody an opportunity or, um, give them access to your energy. Okay. So yeah, you're waiting on the perfect love. And I really do feel like that person is coming in we have the justice card here sitting kind of in between your happily ever after your uh, divine feminine, divine masculine, 
in the emotional loving space. For some of you guys, yeah, it's gonna take you about three months to clear away this debris, right? To kind of get that energy out of your energy field, okay? And I feel like um, the reason why you struggle with love is because you struggle with, um, you struggle with belief for some of you, faith, some of you, some of you uh, struggle with loneliness, low self-value, self-worth, right? Some of you, God forbid, think that you're not good enough or maybe, maybe all I'm ever going to attract is the Knight of Wands. Hell no, Virgo. You're going to attract your perfect person, your perfect mate, your perfect partner, the end period. Okay. I'm putting my energetic stamp on that one. Um, cause we have uh, daddy, mommy and baby here, right? Um, for some of you guys, the person that you're about to meet within the next three months are going to be your happily ever after you are going to get married to this person. And for some of you, you may even have a child with this person, but you know how that Bible verse says, wait on the Lord. <laughs> it doesn't say Lord, wait on the Lord and be of good cheer. The be of good cheer is your belief, your faith, and also at the same time, your focus. Okay. Uh, with this three of wands, angels are also saying to me too, three of wands, six of pentacles. Uh-uh, no, no, you, three of wands is options. And even though, again, they may like you and they want to be with you, Virgo, doesn't mean you have to give them a shot. Okay. So that six of pentacles is, listen, stop giving your energy to breadcrumbers. Okay. That's kind of the only way I could say that. Um, yeah, I feel like you got two fuck boys or fuck girls in your energy or one person who's being incredibly persistent. And who was it? Was it Matthew Hussey? I learned this from, I think it was Matthew Hussey or someone on, it was a Facebook reel. And basically they said, listen, the, the person that you want will have the hardest time approaching you or asking you out or, you know, even speaking to you in some cases, right? Even after the approach is made. Um, for you, Virgo, you may get impatient. You may be like, let me go over here and approach Tom, right? Or Sarah, you know what I mean? But the person that who's meant for you, they're quiet, they're soft, they're reserved. For some of them, they may even be shy. Now you may say, Virgo, well, I don't want that. I want somebody who's aggressive and who's going to let me know how they feel about me and who's going to chase and pursue me. <clears throat> The Knight of Wands will always chase and pursue you because it's not really about you, Virgo. They're trying to get what they want from you, wink, wink. Okay. So I feel like, again, that is you kind of going back and maybe readjusting some of your expectations, your ideals, or your thoughts about the person, their approach, who you want, right? Because the bad boys, bad girls, first of all, I don't even know why the universe plays with us, but the bad boys and bad girls are always drop dead, freaking gorgeous. Oh my God, they're so delicious, right? They all, they say the right things. The chemistry is there. The connection is immediate. Well, the reason why the connection is immediate and the chemistry is there, because you already dealt with this fool before. So it's almost like the imprint is already sitting in your energy field, right? The new person that you're going to meet, the person who's meant for you, they're awkward. The, you do, you may not even like them at first. You may reject them at first. Um, they, they may, they may be I, right? They may be I, I mean, she's attractive, but you know, she ain't like no Rihanna. Okay. If that's your type, right? Unfortunately, that's where true love sits in the ones that you have to adjust to or adapt to. Trust me when I tell you, I've had many a conversations with my angels like, well, how come I just can't find somebody who's lickable and loyal? <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Um, so <laughs> I kind of feel like, um, yeah, this new love coming in, you're not gonna jump for joy. You're not gonna, you know, this person could be like, hey, you know, my name's Randy. 
how you doing? And you're like, mm, <laughs> I can't with you, Virgo. I can't with you. Or, you know, hey, you know, my name's Tina. And you're like, uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Um, also, at the same time, there's a, a huge message here, Three of Wands and the King of, King of Cups and saying, listen, your next love, your next person that you meet, please, please, por favor, give yourself time to get to know them, right? Remember, Three of Wands is innovative and insight, right? Like, figure it out. It's also exploration. I can't even get the words out. It's explore, explore your new love. Don't just be like, mm, he nice. I mean, if he gonna pay for dinner, I guess I'll go. Mm -mm, Virgo, <laughs> that's this person. Okay. So I feel like here, <clears throat> universe is also wanting you to kind of go within to readjust your perspective here. Work on your outlook, your views, your expectations for some of you, your standards. Okay, readjust those because I feel like with with how they are right now, that's why you keep attracting this one. Okay, so it's almost like, oh, I want tall, dark and handsome and I want them to be good in bed. This one is luscious, dark, beautiful, great in bed, but freaking noncommittal or a playboy or a playgirl. Okay, so I really, Angel said, you don't need to say no more because they just got that message. Okay, cool. This one has nothing to offer. This one is the one who starves you, who makes you lonely, who leaves you out in the cold, who doesn't call you back, who doesn't re respond. And, and guess when this happens? After they get what they want. And I feel like there's a, there's a struggle within your heart because you got five here and five here. It's almost like they leave you out in the cold they leave you with all those emotions because sex, especially for heterosexual females or biological females, sex induces or triggers our oxytocin. Oxytocin is the hormone that causes us to bond and fall in love and activate our hearts. Okay. So if you are having sex with Playboy Playgirl, you catching feelings, but guess what? Again, not designed to commit. And I think it's a universal joke that these cards fell where you want commitment, but you keep attracting the non-committed. All right, I gotta go. I'm gonna go. I think the message was sent and received as origin originally meant. Yeah, so you have this going on over here. I feel like the universe is saying, pray, you know, meditate, you know, speak to God, angels and universe so you can um, adjust your perception slash vibrational frequency so you can stop attracting this one and start attracting your true desires, which is a loving, supportive, long-term and loyal partner. Yeah, Jupiter, come on now for Virgo. Um, Taurus, Sagittarius, Pisces, Pisces and Cancer, Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. All of the water signs are here, right? So your heart, your emotional body, your inner child are all being um, um, called out, I guess, in this reading. Come on now. Ooh, all right. Thank you. Thank you, God. Yeah, New Moon and Leo. Shine. These are my um, Moonology Manifestation Oracle cards somebody sent me. Okay, so shine as in bring that vibrational frequency back up. Know you are loved. New moon in Libra. Yeah, baby. Leave the past behind. Good Jesus, last quarter in moon in Capricorn. Yeah, Virgo, it's time for you to readjust, reinvent. Honor your feelings. Uh, first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Yeah. Oof. Oof. I'm not saying that. Um, readjust, reinvent, and, and allow this new love to come in as it is intended by the universe. The universe knows what you want. They know, they know, they know you want your perfect match in love. They know that. Now it's just a matter of you doing this. 
readjust, release and reinvent, and then cut this one off. Bye bye, baby. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you can't stay. You got to go. It's going to be hard. <laughs> no, don't get it twisted, Virgo. It's going to be hard. Okay. But, but look at, look at, look at universal justice sitting right here. It's like, listen, do, do the work. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hard. But when you do the work, boom, love. All right, babies, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Virgo. Bye.